I mentioned yesterday when we were taking up the offering for the Eucharist service that all of the money was going for efforts around continuing to raise up church planters and church planters. We have at this point, either on the books or in process, five different places where we are working on planting or are planting congregations. One of the ones that was recently launched and I had the privilege to attend was All Souls in Horizons West, a community that didn't exist before. That's their first service, by the way. And I would like to invite Matt Ainsley, the priest in charge of this extraordinary new congregation, just to come up and very briefly give us greetings. Thank you, Bishop, and I'm excited to be up here, and the thing that's been going over and over in my head is just that I'm grateful. And I'm, I'm grateful, not that we've arrived, because we haven't arrived, we're just beginning, uh, but it's been a heck of a start that we're off to. Uh, and God has been so faithful, and I'm, I'm so thankful for uh, the bishop and, and the diocese. And that's not just the diocese and staff, I'm very thankful for uh, the, the canons, Holcomb and Holcomb, for their support, uh, but, but for the dream team. Uh, but all of you as well, so many people that have let us know that we're, uh, they're praying for us and they're, they want to see how they can support us. And I've really just been overwhelmed and encouraged by that. Uh, we have our, uh, we like to call Church of the Messiah our, our grandmother church. Uh, Father Tom Rutherford's been great there. And the reason we do that is because uh, they planted the church that planted all souls. They planted the Church of the Ascension uh, back in 1980. And I don't want to stand up here and cry, but, uh, I mean, what can I say about the Church of the Ascension, uh, that they um, are sacrificing uh, to birth this new church? Uh, and in particular, uh, Father Jim Servillo, uh, when I went to him, you know, as assistants, you know, get the itch, you know, what are we going to do next kind of thing. And I went to him and I said, hey, I've got this opportunity praying about uh, this church plant you know, what do you think I should do? And, you know, I expected, you know, hey, good luck, we'll be praying for you. And, you know, I was bowled over because he says, if you do it, we're going to help you do it. And it's so amazing to be around so many people uh, that don't want to see, that their concern is not seeing their name in lights, but being little lights pointing to the light of the world that want to let their light so shine before men, not for their narcissistic ends, but that the world may glorify our Father which is in heaven. And I'm also grateful for our team, the launch team, the, our congregation that's begun. Um, they're just an amazing group of people. And the privilege that we have to go into this burgeoning new community and with St. Paul determined to know nothing except Christ and him crucified, to deliver unto them which we have, that which we have received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised again according to the scriptures, and to lift up the Son of Man in the preaching of holy scripture and in the most holy sacrament, that as the colic said, God may be worshipped, and obeyed and known throughout all the earth, that people would find the end for which they were created, which is to see God, to know God, and to be united with him. And, <laughs> and I, I, I got to finish up because the bishop told me I had three minutes. <laughs> but I'm Baptist, and I was Baptist, and my preaching hasn't converted yet, as you can tell. Like, what's a 15-minute sermon? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but if I can encourage you, you know, what, what is success, right? What success is a church plan? Uh, of course, I want all souls to, to be uh, around until Jesus Christ comes again to judge the living and the dead. And we want it to grow. We, that means we want more people. 
because every number represents a soul for whom Christ died. But ultimately, success, how do we know if we're successful? It's, is God pleased? Are we offering with our lives and with our worship and with our witness and a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving that is a sweet-smelling aroma to the nostrils of Almighty God? Because our primary mission is ministry to God, to exalt him and lift him up and to know him and be united in him because that is the end for which we were created. All right, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs>